pop or no pop? Place your bets, place your bets. 50% chance, come on. Hello there, and welcome back to the Direwolf 2112 mod pack with me, Trionis. And I've got to apologize. Uh, there's nothing I could do about it, but the recording that I've just done, which was supposed to be this episode, uh, which I spent about 30 minutes doing, uh, and then I came to edit it, and the file is corrupted. Hi. Hate it when that happens. Uh, so yeah, this episode will be a very quick rundown on what I did. Just do. Uh, so very quickly on the monk mod that we did uh, that we were working on the last episode, we got up to here last time. So off camera, I actually did the monk level seven, which gave us 400% uh, extra damage with hands, some extra armor, uh, then. On camera, uh, we did the dodge five times with uh, arrows from a, a skeleton. Uh, then we also ended up doing block, breaking uh, four blocks of iron with the bare hands. Uh, then we found out that we needed to take a boat uh, to an ocean to get up to 10. And then we need to get into the end uh, to peacefully coexist with Enderman. Which, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of that. Uh, so, yeah, we did manage to get up to that level, which is kind of cool. Uh, something else I did off camera was inside the pyramid. I altered the staircase inside uh, once we get around to it. There we go. As you can see, the staircase is now looked less. And I'm thinking maybe to bring this across. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it seems to give us a bit more room in here, and then I will chisel and bit these stairs because something I don't think I ever did mention was that the uh, these are these blocks here, but they have been chiseled and bits into stairs there. Uh, so yeah, that's how I did them. And uh, thank you, Linda, for the suggestion about using glowstone. Uh, chisel bits as well using that around the pyramid that's a, a very good idea I actually forgot that we could do that uh, so uh, yeah awesome thank you very much so uh, one thing I did show people how to do because I didn't actually get any comments about it was how to get grains of infinity uh, so let me just nip down my mind. Okay, so as you probably know how to get grains of infinity, but I'm just going to show you in any case is that you need to mine down to bedrock, give yourself a fair amount of room and then put bedrock on fire. I'm not going to do a right lot because I've already got a few up so I'm doing this already, but it is one of those things, unfortunately, that happens the life of a youtuber uh, and sometimes there you go there's there's one of them grains of infinity you get a 50 percent chance of getting one uh, so yeah now are we, are we gonna get any from this last one are we gonna get anything come on pop or no pop place your bets place your bets 50 percent chance come on in your own time I'm going to say yes, we're going to get one. Come on. Come on. No. It likes that corner. It doesn't want to go out. Oh, we didn't get one. Oh, well, I lost the bet. <laughs> if you won the bet, let me know in the comment section. No cheating. Uh, anyway, let's get back up here. So, uh, we used the greens of infinity uh, to make a couple of items which we needed uh, and that are these two machines way over here now uh, the simple slag mill and the simple alloy smelter uh, so if I look up the uh, no no that's not that's not that that's not the right word uh, so if I do mill it might be better uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sag mill, not slag mill. Never mind. Uh, so that's the recipe for that. Uh, three flint, two iron, stone gears, a piston, and a simple machine block, which is made as such. Uh, then we'll try to look into making the next one up. Uh, but you may notice there's been some changes in the recipes. I did not know that they did this. They have actually made it, so you need 
dark steel uh, a lot more than doing that plus you need an infinity gear to make the dark bimetal gear uh, so yeah they've actually altered this to be a lot harder to my mind uh, to get these machines and then the enhanced slag now I really do want to look at these machines but we need end steel ingots for that so we do another reason to go into the end is to get some end stone unless we can actually make end stone these days um, we can we need a infused transponder and some ender stuff so we can actually make and stone but we need to go there anyway so i wouldn't oh starlight transmission Ooh. we need a lens how would we make a lens okay that's not too bad actually uh might need to look into doing that uh okay cool but we do really need to get into astral sorcery again because we haven't done any for a while uh, anyway, the alloy smelter, after that distraction, uh, alloy smelter is made as uh, such, two furnaces, some iron, another simple machine case, some stone gears and a bucket, is that right? Yeah, it's a bucket. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, then we made some dark steel ingot and a vibrant alloy ingot because we were making this simple inventory charger. Uh, which is made as such for conductive iron which is made via redstone and iron in the simple alloy smelter uh, then you also need some dark steel dark steel is actually made uh, via iron pulverized coal and obsidian again in the simple smelter which took its time believe you me this machine these machines are not fast at all uh, but I suppose that's how it goes a uh, simple powered furnace uh, cool okay and then sterling generators here yeah, but they're not really that great either uh, so <laughs> uh, yeah uh, what, what we're doing the alloy furnace so uh, I needed them uh, because once you've made the uh, simple inventory charger you then need to add a vibrant crystal to it which is made by an end mold and some vibrant alloy nuggets which requires uh, a uh, energetic alloy and an ender pearl and then the energetic alloy is actually made with redstone gold and glowstone so yeah and then you needed an anvil and a few xp which the anvil is just here uh, so uh, yeah that is what I did on camera and I made it all and then the file corrupted so yeah there's not like I say not much I could do about it I do apologize for this like a bit of a catch-up from what I should be the episode uh, but yeah so again I am very sorry about that uh, so yeah let me know what you want to see in the next episode um, maybe we can make a boat and go back into this monk thing or if you want to see something completely different uh you know i'll let you decide if you've got any preference and well i'll see what i can do uh so yeah thank you so very much for joining me one last apology as well uh and if you did enjoy this please remember to hit that like button and obviously any hints tips comments or complaints oh before actually i finish off uh this thing uh, if you do make one you can't just stick it in your inventory and expect it to actually uh, charge everything up uh, you need to actually put it next to the items that you actually want it to charge as you can see my flux board there is now charging up off this it's a bit slow but it does work but you can't just put it over here and expect it to charge it needs to be right next to it so yeah bear that in mind if you do make one uh, so yeah, anyway, like I was saying, any hints, tips, comments or complaints, feel free to put that in, down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>